Okay, so we're going to install the Waydo Flyer Jet. And the first step is to take off the propeller, of course, and you're going to need a towel right there to hold the propeller so it doesn't hurt your hand. And then you're going to need a tool that's going to fit right into the hole of the cone at the end of the propeller there to help twist it off. And my favorite tool is a nail punch or nail setter. So this is my favorite tool because it is nice and thick and it's not going to bend, but it's narrow enough that it can fit inside the hole because any screwdriver or any other object that I've put in there that was more rod shaped would bend, whereas this is more like a cone. And so it has, well, it's a much more sturdy, much more strong. Another reason you're going to need a towel is after you unscrew the cone, there's probably going to be a little bit of water that's going to come out and it's going to get on whatever is below. So make sure that your box and your instruction manual is not directly below <laughs> or anything else you don't want to get wet. Make sure it's not directly below the cone when you unscrew it because water is going to come out of the cavities inside the cone and also inside the propeller. Got a little bit of rust there. I'm gonna have to make sure I put some anti-corrosion gel or something there when I put on the jet. Another thing you're gonna wanna look out for is the cotter pin that's gonna be holding this in place when you pull it out. That pin is going to fall and you want to make sure it's not going to get lost in the dirt or on the ground or into whatever may be below. There's the pin right there that I was speaking of. Some of you may already be wondering why my propeller base or the mount for my stabilizer fin is different than everyone else's. Well, this is an original Kickstarter Waydo Flyer 1, and this mount, this rear of the fuselage and stabilizer mount, I have modified and cut the original spokes and supports of the guard and shroud and duct that used to go all the way around so that I could create my own open prop. And so most people are going to have these four bolts that need to be removed and that's the next step is to remove these four bolts. Waydo has been really awesome and has included all three sizes of wrenches that you will need to remove the bolts and tighten bolts. After removing the four bolts then you will have exposed four more bolts which hold the stabilizer mount fin itself on. So these will have to come off, and if you've never taken these off before, you may need to use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat up the glue that is keeping these bolts locked in tight. And then if you end up stripping out the, um, the hex insert, you will have to use a Torx bit and hammering it into the head of the bolt in order to get a good grip to pull it out, which is something I had to do when I was installing the folding prop, which was the first time that I removed the stabilizer fin mount. It's not entirely obvious, but you can actually see some residue of some glue, despite how many times I've pulled the cap of the end of the fuselage off. So again, if it's your first time pulling the cap off, it may be particularly difficult because there may be some glue in addition to all of the bolts that's holding everything on. You're going to have three sizes of bolts. There's going to be two long ones, four medium ones, and four shorter ones. I've already used some of them, but showing you here on the instructions, you see that there's an M410, which is the shortest ones, the M420, which is the longest one, 
and then there's an M415, which is the medium length one. So the shortest ones are going to go through the top, and then the longest one is going to go through the lengthwise direction of the fuselage. So coming up here, the longest one is right there, which goes into the length of the fuselage there through the back, just underneath the propeller shaft or above it, depending on your point of view here. The board is upside down. And then here is where the two short ones will go, which will thread into two of the four original holes for the fin that used to come up to hold the stabilizer, which is now part of the shroud and guard around the jet propeller that will eventually go inside. It appears Weidu has included two of everything, which is really awesome. And the next step is to put in the propeller pin, but there is two different sizes, and there's one of each. There's a shorter one and a longer one. And if you pair up the longer one with the jet propeller, you can see that it fits in there real nicely. And then the shorter one, I believe, is just a spare to go to the original prop. As you can see, the shorter one will fit better with the prop that was removed. So there you have it. You can see that this is much shorter. So we're going to put the longer one in. If you have a hard time putting the pin through, it's because each end has these little gaskets. This side has been removed, and this is what it looks like. It's just a little teeny tiny black rubber band, and that's to help the pin to just stay in there and not randomly fall out when removing the propeller. So if you want to try and put that back on, you can, but otherwise it's not going to be the end of the world if you can't. The pin is roughly horizontal and now I can hold the propeller as horizontal as I can to line up the there it goes. There should be only a very tiny tiny gap. There we go. So those of you who are curious on how big the opening is in the back, or rather the front where the water goes in, it is large enough that fingers could potentially go through, but uh, definitely very minimal. So it is possible to get some fingers in there, but very difficult, and the chances are very unlikely. I have in my hand the rear half piece that screws on to the shroud covering of the jet propulsion prop. And my finger barely goes all the way through the length. Barely. If I put the rear half of the jet duct on my longest middle finger, you can see that it is just barely shorter than my middle finger. My middle finger is just long enough to go through. So, is it possible for a finger to go through? It's possible, but uh, not very far. And only the very longest finger is going to reach the propeller inside. The final and rear piece of the duct that goes on the prop is installed, and all that's left is the stabilizer wing mount, which will go this direction like this. I will have a review of my experiences on the jet at a later date, but in the meantime, here's a sneak peek of my efficiency range test with my 170 pound weight on the jet with the patroller wing and the original stabilizer going at a mellow speed. Overall, I'm very impressed with the range that the jet provides and it was more efficient than I was expecting.